Okay, so I am done in putting out videos for the PayPal, all the clue words and the secret giveaway words and the mystery questions that are in all the videos that I have released. I'm not releasing any more videos for the PayPal giveaway and the retail gift card giveaway. So that's it. So there's a lot of videos that I've recently released, like just yesterday even. And so you have plenty of chance to, you know, go get that. So there's the PayPal and the retail gift card. And so those two giveaways, the drawing is November 2nd. And so you still have plenty of chance for the PayPal, you have to have a minimum of five clue words. There are some that started to participate and they only got a couple clue words. So make sure you get a minimum of five clue words on videos that says PayPal clue words in the video. And then secret give, secret words, you have to see the secret giveaway word in a video. Comment that at least one time to be entered in that one. And so for the upcoming um, drawings that I will be doing is the Veteran Day giveaway and I'm starting the process of preparing for the Christmas giveaway and so the Veterans Day giveaway I just did a video for that one I will be putting that out in different platforms where I'm connected with veterans and so please do not ask to win for a veteran that you know or related to it is for veterans who have YouTube accounts and I have to verify them and please understand there's just a lot of people who try to copycat or you know scam on YouTube and I have to protect the veteran and make sure that I check their URL in my dashboard so if you're a veteran please uh, subscribe and make sure that your subscriptions are visible because I'm telling you they come to my channel because I do giveaways on a regular basis and they copycat they take the banners they copycat their pictures and they come and pretend to be that person and the only way that i can protect the winner is by going to my dashboard and looking at their url and no you can't put secret clue words in anything and comment in a clue word because obviously they can hear you saying that in a video and then they can read the comment and figure out what the clue word is so the only way that i verify is to see your URL of your channel page of the person who subscribed to me. Um, and so at any rate, and of course, also in verification is you have to show either your VA ID or your military ID. You can cover up, you know, personal data, just show your face, you know, take a picture of your card like that and then, you know, send it to my Twitter or whatever. And I'm just gonna make sure the veteran gets the money. And I want, the veteran to have an account here on YouTube. This is for YouTube veterans, okay? And so the Christmas giveaway is going to be, um, I will have two $25 cash winners. It'll be like a gift card. It'll be, I'm gonna, it's gonna be international. So we'll have a PayPal, a couple gift cards, and then I'm gonna be doing like crafts and I'll have some makes that I'm making and so there'll be various things and I'll, I'll have, you know, a big, uh, like presentation video to show what that is. But, um, when I start releasing videos, here's the thing on the Christmas giveaway, you do not have to have like 10 minimum clue words on that one, because it's basically a thank you to all my subscribers kind of deal, you know, but they will have the opportunity to win extra entries. And so, I do anticipate there's going to be a lot of people participating and I'm hoping at that time to have an app that I'll be able to use to sort of assist because I know there's going to be a lot of a lot of people like one person in the current ones that I'm doing could have a hundred entries and so that's a lot that's a lot for me as more people are coming to my channel and so and anyways I just wanted to announce that those those giveaways on the November 10th you know for veterans if you know a veteran let them know about this giveaway but they do have to have a youtube account and comment you know on that video that i did that i'm releasing this for veterans and uh, i will make sure that they and only they get get the winnings and i'm trying to get some other things put in to that uh, giveaway so yeah so that's that on that one and i just want to say thank you to everybody and just please remember that um, to participate in the Christmas giveaway, you have, you'll have to look at the video that's at the top of my giveaway playlist in the description. It says guidelines for the uh, giveaways and the, the 
all the notes and stuff, everything, the boundaries, the rules, whatever, all will be in the description of that video. And you will have to comment on that video. You know, say, hey, I'm participating in the Christmas giveaway. So that way I can go right down the row and see everybody's read the, you know, read the rules and nobody can say they didn't know or that kind of thing. Because I'm getting a lot of people that they click on videos that have giveaways in the title and they very obviously do not read the rules and so i just ask respectfully that you know just everybody's giveaways are different and there are so many people on youtube doing giveaways and so i just ask that everybody please you know just mine are a little bit different so i just want to have verification that people read the description so the christmas giveaway is coming up and um i just appreciate y'all very much and and thank you and um I just ask that for um, veterans, for this upcoming Veterans Day, please, you know, be respectful of the veterans and let the holiday be about them, okay? So that's why um, when I do my veterans giveaway, it is their day. It's to thank them, not people who like them, not people who are related to them, which I appreciate all of the family members, and I love all the family members of veterans because I, I know their sacrifice. I'm, I'm a military family person. I grew up in a military family and I am a military person. So I don't want to seem like, like they don't matter because they do, you know, they, they sacrifice too because they had to do without their spouse or their father or their loved one, you know, for periods of time. And so I know that they should have a day for them too. They really should because kids grew up without their parent, you know, sometimes both their parents, you know, at times. And so you know, or maybe you've lost a parent. They really do need to have a a veteran family day. You know, really and truly they do. And I may just make one up. I may just do a giveaway just for them. You know, even if they don't have a special national day for them, I may just do one for them. But this Veterans Day is for veterans to thank them. And so that's why, you know, I hope that please, I'm asking you to consider this there, with the pandemic, there are so many people in nursing homes that didn't get visits on any of the holidays that they are accustomed to getting because of the pandemic. It is so sad. So please, you know, will you adopt a veteran? You know, contact a nursing home and say, hey, I want to adopt a veteran. I just want to have somebody, you know, or try to organize something like that to have adopt a veteran. You know, um, I, I actually started a program like that in the um, East Coast when I was participating in um, this uh, study for Gulf War illness. And um, there were people, they had started this program and they didn't have any funding for housing or flights or anything. And it was just supposed to be for veterans in that area, but they didn't have enough participants. So they had to bring people from around the country. There was no housing. There was no flight funding from the DOD didn't approve. So I had to coordinate all that. And I started a, a group called LAVA, L-A-V-A, which means Love a, Love a Veteran America. And there were people that took veterans into their homes and sponsored them, and, you know, like fostered them, sponsored them, literally took these veterans into their home and housed them while the housing situation was getting coordinated. And this church got together and put this house together that they donated, you know, for the use of during this study and this program that went on for several months. And so... You know, I'm just asking people, you know, adopt a veteran that's in a nursing home. Maybe you can't go in there and visit them, but do something, you know, write them, send them cards. Maybe you can FaceTime them or something. You know, there's a lot of veterans who are older and maybe their family members are passed and they don't have people visiting. But right now in the hospitals and in the nursing homes, okay, or in the veterans on the streets, please make Veterans Day about the veterans and go out there and visit them please, even if it's just a card, you know, please do that. I'm asking you, please consider doing that. Thank you. And I hope that, you know, that y'all would participate in these giveaways. I thank you so much for that. It really does help me. And, uh, my watch time, it's, you know, it's, it's getting there. It's just, it's just slow. And I go to your channels and try to show your channels love. And I just, Hope that everybody will just um, be respectful of each other, you know, here on my YouTube channel and respect the veterans on Veterans Day. God bless you and look in the description of this video.